I was still trying to understand what was going on. It was just, it was something, a lot of things were going on in my head. Little did I know that my roommate actually connived with my cousin. <laughs> Hey guys, so my podcast, Just Say It by Favor Rojika, is now available on all your podcasting platforms. Please check the description box below for more information. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're a new person here, welcome. My name is Favor Rojika. I'm a YouTuber based here in Minnesota, USA, and I'm super excited to have you back on my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I always have a special place in my heart for you. You have all my love. Today, guys, I'm going to be telling you a story of that one time that my friends surprised me. If you want to hear more about how I got surprised, keep on watching. So here's the story. My birthday is always December 13th. So tell me why everybody was like, oh, especially my roommate, she was like, oh, your birthday is coming. What are you going to do? And I was like, I don't know. I'll just do dinner not a big deal so prior to the week of my birthday i invited a bunch of people to my apartment just to do some sort of christmas get together but then again in my head it was just a way of gathering all my friends or all the people i care about um in my apartment and you know playing some games getting them together you know that was something i wanted to also do for myself too as by you know spending time with these people and that's it on the actual birthday maybe i'll just go for dinner or I'll just try to do something that'll make me happy that day like i wasn't really thinking too much about it that year so towards the end of that event Surprisingly, my, my cousin came to me and she was like, Oh, Chichi, my aunt needs, um, I said, My aunt, <laughs> my mom needs help um, that weekend. I was like, Oh, yeah, what day? She said, On oh, your birthday, it's going to be on a Saturday. I was like, Isn't it? That's my birthday. I don't think I want to go anywhere or do anything. She's like, I just think about it, but she really needs help that day. Oh, I was like, Oh my God. And I said, Okay, fine, I'll think about it. It was bothering me, bothering me, bothering me. I was like, Ha, ah, that day I just want to relax. So it's like after finals week, I just want to, I don't want to do too much, you know. But then again, I'm like, My aunt needs help. So, you know, I'm, I guess I'm going to go and help her, you know. Like, if she really needs all hands on this one that she's asking me for help, why not, you know? So I was like, I guess I'll just postpone whatever it is I want to do that day and just go and help my aunt. So, getting up to that day, some of my friends will call me and be like, What are you even doing for your birthday now? Madam, your birthday is on Saturday. I say, Well, I'm going to help my aunt, though, you know, like she's asking for help that day. Can you imagine on my birthday? But it's fine, I'm going to go and help her. I'm not like to you, I was looking like pissed, like, Ah, why does this event have to fall on that weekend? But in my head, I was like, Regardless of the situation, she asked, so why not? That weekend, my roommate knew I was going to go home. She was not like, oh, she's going to the cities that weekend too. I was like, why are you going to the cities? She was like, oh, she needs to do something for her sister. And I said, okay, fine. Like, I'm, I'm going to the cities too. So I could drop you somewhere in Target. Um, Target was like in the city, right? She was like, no, 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 no. I'll find my way. I was like, Moni, you're about to miss the train. At least let me drop you, you know, at the train station. She insisted. She was like, no, it's fine. Like, Go ahead and do what you want to do i was like are you sure she said yes i don't know I, and to be honest i wasn't really thinking anything because in my mind i was like i guess i mean damn i wanted to drive the car alone and listen to my music but i mean i really felt like oh my god like i need to, i wanted to help her like why are you refusing my help because we are we are both going the same way you know it, you know it's not going to take anything from me and she was like no 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 don't worry about it it's fine that she's going to that she has a feeling that you know that she really wants to get go on the train i was like you're sure she said yes i said okay no problem so i went to what was i even going to say i went to i went home and on my way home my friends and that was like my actual birthday right so my friends kept calling me on that day you know obviously saying happy birthday happy birthday i was like oh thank you thank you thank you but I also ah, ah, but I'm not, what are you doing for your birthday uh where are you now they kept asking where are you now and honestly my mind was not even going there i, I was not even there. i had no clue and i was like oh i'm i'm on my way home now like you know i'm going home you know her event is tomorrow so i you know i have to go home and help her no her event is today so I, no actually her event is tomorrow it was on a friday my birthday was on friday 
I hope I, tr I tried this. Yeah, her birthday was my birthday was on Friday. My aunt's event my aunt's event was on a Saturday, so there was no how I could come on the actual Saturday because we need to prep and whatnot. So the plan was to come on Friday, sleep over, and then help her out on Sunday, um, Saturday, and then come back to school on Sunday. So my friends were like saying, "Okay, fine." Little did I know that they were actually calling me to know where I was going on. They wanted to know exactly where I was to make sure that I was actually coming to the cities because that was the instructions that Moni gave them. I got here, I've actually not even removed my jacket and whatnot. What, what my cousin came and then my cousin was like, Uchichi, we need to go. My cousin was like, Uchichi, we need to go. My mom is waiting for us at the hall. We need to go and prep the hall for tomorrow. My mind was like, first of all, why? that doesn't seem like my aunt is, my aunt is into like she has a catering business so it's in my head i was like that's not the kind of jobs that she normally gets she normally gets like hall events and whatnot but restaurants i was like whatever right so and i said let me that i want to eat i'm hungry she's like no 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 you cannot eat i was like let me just eat. i've not eaten anything all day she's like okay just you know take fruits or something like let's go i was like okay fine so we got in her car and then, you know, I, prior to getting home, I went to thread my brows. I cleaned, I didn't completely clean all my makeup. I just cleaned some and then I threaded my brow. They were like, where are you? Where are you? I'm like, oh my, okay, fine. I'm on my way home. She met me home and she was like, let's go. Let's go. My aunt, sorry, my mom needs our help. So I was like, okay, fine. Let's go. We went, we got to like, I think downtown Minneapolis. And I was like, this place is fancy. Like, I was like, where are we going to park? She was like, don't worry about that she figured out the parking and then we got into this fancy ass restaurant and i was like hmm, i've never heard of my aunt catering in this like in a restaurant kind of space i mean it's not that she can't do it but it was just strange to me because she does more like private events not really restauranty kind of events but whatever so i was at the back and then my cousin kept going forward i was like where is she and then she was on the phone with somebody so i assumed she was calling my aunt and then after some time she was like, Uchis, you just wait here. And then I think that at the corner of my eyes, I think I saw somebody with the red top that my roommate wore earlier. But then again, I was like, that could be anybody because, you know, it's a restaurant. Anybody can wear any clothes that looks the same. It does not really matter, you know. But that was actually my roommate and I, I had no clue. <laughs> and so my cousin said oh i'm coming and then later from my father she was like uchichi come and then I, as i was walking closer i started seeing familiar faces i started seeing my friend Akin. i saw moni i saw victoria i saw shilin i saw enobong i saw i saw my cousins that were in the house with me <laughs> good i was like <laughs> in this video i was really shocked you know and they were singing happy birthday and i was like what is going on little did i know that my roommate actually connived with my cousin had my aunt in on it had my friends in on it my cousins were in on it too my family members and you know they decided to surprise me for some strange reason and I was just so overwhelmed because I was like, wow, people are taking their time, their energy, their money to come and have dinner with me or come and celebrate me in a way. Like I felt really humbled, you know, and then I couldn't really contain the shock because I honestly wanted to, I was still trying to figure out what, what was actually going on. It was like, what is happening? I was still trying to understand what was going on and you guys might not understand. It was just... It was something a lot of things were going on in my head right 
and then my roommate was like come 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 there's no time we need to go i was like go where this girl took me to the bathroom she had a dress for me she had shoes for me and even like a different necklace when i went to the bathroom i honestly could not hold my tears right and she could be a me witness like i didn't cry in front of my friends because i'm not even the type of person that cries because i don't consider myself a cry baby however when i went into the bathroom i think it hit me and what was going through my head was wow people actually left everything they were doing right i understand it's a weekend but still i'm sure they had other plans i'm sure they had other things going on for them they left everything they were doing to just come here and celebrate small only like wow you know like even the most loved people still it takes commitment it takes people willing to do that for you you know what i mean and i just felt humbled in that moment and it, it just turned into tears and my my and that was the first time i'll not lie to you that was the first time i genuinely felt like really happy it was tears of joy and I've, i'm not that kind of person that cries like i don't know i don't cry oh my god <laughs> in front of people i don't do that and until it happened to me I honestly stopped making fun of people that get surprised during their engagements like when they get um during their engagement parties where they're like oh my god oh, when they start crying i i used to be one of those people that go on social media and when i see it i'm like why is this one crying i beg you you knew that they were going to engage you nah, i beg you <laughs> i beg you you know so when i when after that happened and I know that it's not compared to like an, you know, like um, an engagement, obviously. I know it's not the same thing, but I just, like I said, I felt really humbled and I felt, I was genuinely surprised. And again, I did not show them my reaction before they come and start making fun of me. Because my friends are the kind of people that if they see one thing, they'll use that one thing to haunt me forever and ever. <laughs> forever and ever, you know? So basically i she was like no 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 no, don't cry don't cry you deserve it you deserve it you're fine you deserve it right and that girl is the most she's a very sweet human being muni is oh i cannot sing her praises enough you know um she you know made sure that i dressed up and then i went back there to have dinner with my family just for me to come back and my aunt was like yes i was in on it so i kind of felt really you know happy about that and that experience also taught me that no matter who you are as a human being like don't think you don't deserve good things because they've not come to you yet I, I'm, I'm trying my best not to turn this into some long ass uh, motivational speech but the truth is good things happen to those that are good so if good things are happening to you believe it that's the whole point of this video believe it you know surprises are meant to happen and if they come to you just know that you deserve it even though your mind is telling you otherwise that oh i've not done something extraordinary no you're a good person and that's all that matters okay thank you so much guys for listening to me um i just felt like you know sharing that i was thinking about that the other day and i was like you know what let me share the story because maybe it might lighten somebody's mood especially going through what we're going through this period so i hope that helps you um and i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to just share it with your friends i would really love to hear what you guys think if you've not subscribed to my channel already i don't know what you are doing i thought this was an agreement and you know i thought we understood each other so why are you wasting time hmm? why eh come on subscribe Ujo. <laughs> Please subscribe, Edjo. God bless you. Alright? Thank you so much, guys. I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye!